Hello, Xavier. Welcome back. To <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't know. I expect that, guys. Welcome back, guys. It's been a while due to the fact that my wife hasn't been working, but I am glad to be back here in Minecraft, and I have some great brand news to show you. The house is complete. I did have to do it off screen. It took a while due to the fact that I had to get all the material from the actual. Um, dungeon over there and I did clear it out and I I'm actually gonna be putting my library over there so I'm gonna have my enchantment and disenchantment table over there and talking about disenchantment that's what we're gonna be doing this video so as you can see off screen I also got some obsidian now it was so easy for me to actually mine it because of this thing right here the obsidian smasher was so helpful it actually made everything so much easier Oh, okay, so I can show you guys. That's how easy it is to break out obsidian, which is really cool. I recommend getting that as soon as possible. Very helpful. So now I can just build a nether portal. And let me give you guys a quick tour of the house. This is the living main living room. This is going to be um, virtual, but I need to go back to the other house and actually get the wood. Uh, here are my block lanes. There's a little kitchen right here. Right here is my little backyard, which I'm still working on. Um, but I know this is not going to be here later. I, I'm going to be making a little farm somewhere. I don't know where, but I think I'm going to look it out, look it up, where I can put it up to the best part. Uh, I'm not sure where. Oh yeah, and then that battle tower, I took care of it, and I made it into a skeleton farm, so I can actually get some bone meal. Now that I can actually use bone meal, and I forgot to put a door here. Uh, but yeah, so. That's my skeleton spawner, okay? And yeah, I have nothing here, but this is my bedroom balcony window where I can look out. And yeah, so what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna be making the disenchantment temple first. We need this, and I need some books. I think I might have some in the bottom, but if I don't, I do have some sugar cane I can uh, use. So let's see. Do I have sugar cane? Oh, I have some uh, in the thing, but I'm looking for books. Um, I think I have books. Do I? Yeah, I have some books. There we go. So I do have some books. And I do have diamonds. They're right over here. So this is my storage room slash crafting room. Uh, so this is a really cool thing. So I'm going to make one. Two. So I need two, one for the enchantment table and one for the disenchantment table. So I'm, I'm going to need some yellow dye for this and some emerald. So I'm going to put that in there, put the emerald, and I'm going to get the yellow dye because I do have two beautiful yellow flowers waiting for me out here. Not this way, the other way. There we go. So there we go, put that there, and bam. Now I can make my disenchantment table, and the best thing about the disenchantment table is that it does not require experience. You don't need to use your experience to actually make it, which is really good. So now I can play this disenchantment table. Let's go down to the uh, dungeon uh, area, and I'm going to show you what I did with it. Alright, so here we are. I put a bunch of these blocks here because there was a lot of holes. And I cleared out the top here because I actually want to put uh, some armor stand up here with all the armors that I can get. There was cool as well as here. I put the best ones there. And here we are. Down we go to the dungeon. This is going to be known as the Grand Library. So, um, of course, that way is still going over there. But over here, this is where the library is. This, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. I can't remember what I was going to do with this, but I know I was going to put something here. I don't know what I was going to put there, but... Oh, wait, I, I think that's where I was going to put the fishing cameras in, but over here... Is where I wanted to put the... I think I was here or over there, but I'll put it here for now because I didn't want to put it in the middle here and then over here I wanted to put the kitchen cabin table right there so there's the kitchen cabin table 
it's really cool because ooh, now I can actually disenchant stuff. So here's how it works. You go here, put something in there, and you put the book in, right? And as you can see, it's going to give me rapid fire, which is the first one, I think. If you... I can't shuffle them. Unfortunately, it seems like it takes from the first one, which makes sense. And when you use it on a, an item, it does reduce its uh, duration, so you gotta be careful um, not to break your item by accident. So that could be a possibility. Now, I, I have a few items that are, you know, cursed, and I, I'd like to get those curses out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. Okay, so here's how it works. So you put it in there and then take it away. And when it comes to items like with durations on it, put it in there, take it away, and it does take some of the durability away. So that's a good thing and I'm gonna put everything here that is bad. So of course you can take the good stuff out, so like I'm breaking would be really cool and then I can put it in this sword um, and that would be a pretty cool idea. Uh, let's see, 46, 48. Now that means that I can take my best sword and continue to transfer over their best enchantments. That way it will be even cool for me and also since I have a skeleton farm I do have a bunch of uh, enchanted stuff over here so the cool thing about that is I can get all this stuff and start disenchanting everything so let me start disenchanting this stuff and I'm gonna show you guys alright so we're back here oh my god Okay, yeah, definitely the lava is going to go away. Definitely the lava is going away. All the fire is going away too. I don't know what can spawn here and what cannot, so... Goodbye, lava. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, back to what I was going to do. Uh, so, oh, you know what? I do need a bunch of books for this. But at least I know that I'm going to put all the good enchantment stuff here. And then I'm going to make some really good armor. And that's a fact, so... Uh, I have my really good bow back at the other place, I believe. And I have this really cool bow here, which comes with really cool stuff. And with that, I'm going to be putting the best enchantments on that bow and the best enchantments on my best sword as well. Which is the bow sword at the moment. Uh, so if I can go and I'm going to go and get my stuff real quick. And I need a bunch of, uh, bunch of, uh, oh there we go, sugar canes. So I did want to make a sugar cane automatic farm, but they grow so fast that I think I won't do it because I, I have a pretty good amount already. There you go. And we're going to move in, go down here. And we're going to go up here. We have these up here. So we're going to be making a bunch of books. So. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of books. So, uh, there we go. Paper, paper, of course we need paper. Come on. Oh, wait. It goes like that. There we go. And we need a bunch of these. We got 14 of them. Not not what I would like, but and then let me actually get the uh, bookshelf from here that I was gonna use. That way, if I want to enchant anything, I can also enchant anything. But in most cases, I'll be using, using the books for disenchantment and then enchanting something with it. So it looks like I'm gonna be making another anvil later. So here we are again, I'm going to put these down in the back, like that, there you go. Alright, so back we are again, now, we are going to, uh, you know why, I didn't even bring my sword, 
off screen I actually also killed the dragon. Uh, but I didn't get enough to make a full set of armor. But I am going to make what I can. So I'm just going to do that. That. And that. There we go. So now we got some really good armor. I need two more of the dragon scales so I can make that. And we're going to enchant our stuff with the best we can. So we do have this really cool stuff here which is going to be helpful. And I do want my sword. Where is my sword? My sword right here. Do I have my bow with me? I don't think I do. I think I left it back at the other house. Yeah, I did. And I have this uh, mystery egg that I'm going to be uh, checking out. So uh, let me see if there's any really good uh, enchantments here. Breaking is always helpful. Physical protection and unbreaking is also helpful. More unbreaking. I'm breaking again. Shock protection. Interesting. Okay, so and do we have any other stuff here? The, that that can stay there because you know those are already pretty good. Drawn up, probably make an anvil down here. Uh, that way I won't have to keep going back up and down. And uh, I'll put it like over here or something. Uh, but essentially, here's what I'm gonna do. I like. Let's see. What do I have on this? Protection 1. It has Mending and Absorption 3, which is something I do want. So I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to put these books there, right? So we're going to have Protection. And Unbreaking. Okay. So definitely going to have these guys right here. And I'm going to get Mending. Which is going to be really helpful, not just for the uh, sword, which is what I'm going to be doing, and absorption. So there we go. So for the sword, I'd like to wish the sir. Okay, so unbreaking three is going to be very helpful. So I'm going to take that away. Okay. Again, mending is going to be helpful. Absorption, I'm going to keep. Is this a highly durable thing? No, okay, so that's that's just uh, the sword itself, the tempered blade. The mending is still helpful, and then unbreaking is also helpful. So, again, put this stuff in there. Unbreaking 3 is going to be very helpful as well for the sword. And there we go. So now, I'm going to want to enchant this with uh, this stuff over here. So, I'm going to put that over there. And let's see. Obs actually, no, absorption is going to be for my, my chest plates and stuff. Mm, let's see, so fire protection, physical protection is going to be helpful as well. There we go, unbreaking. I'm going to need a lot of books, and I think I'm going to be making a cow crusher because I do want um, to make all this stuff very, very useful for us. So, again, some more books are going to be needed. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking all these enchantments away from these uh, these things. So I'm gonna put all the enchantment books in here. Got four more to go. So let's see. Uh, well, I'm breaking again. I'm breaking is gonna be such a big thing because I have so much of it. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put that stuff in there. Uh, protection, fire protection is going to be helpful as well. Because I do want to find more dragons to complete my set. Put that stuff there because I don't need it anymore. Put that in there. This, this enchantment th table is one of the best things I've made. It's so helpful. It's going to do so much good for us because I can just make some really cool armor like this, so some really strong one too, so that's really cool. Uh, this is going to be my my armor, my main armor right now, which is the dragon armor. 
Uh, it is stronger than diamond armor, which is really cool. Unfortunately, I did make some diamond armor uh, back home, but I do have this one now, and then this one is the one I'm going to be staying with for now because it is way better. So we're going to move around. Let's see if it's Okay, there we go. I'm going to take my sword. My, uh, bone sword. And we're going to move up here. And if I can move up. <laughs> so can you get rid of the curses? Yes, you can. You just need a disenchantment table. They are quite expensive to make. But if you have the materials, it is very helpful. And not only can you take curses away, but you can take some really good stuff away, as you can see here. And it's going to be so helpful for a lot of the a lot of cases. I'm gonna leave right there. It's so much more uh, better to have it right there than me having to walk over here. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna move on and we're gonna start with my chest plate. So here we are. We're gonna go and give it absorption three. Uh, no, over okay, here. There we go. So that's really cool. There we go. So now I'd like to give my sword. Mending and unbreaking three. Well, it has mending, so I don't need to give it that. Let's see. No protection. So, yeah, I'm gonna give my sword mending. So now I can heal it whenever it needs to be healed. So that's a good thing. Then, what else do I need? Uh, shop. Shock, what is shock? Yeah. It's just the effect of shock damage. Fire protection obviously does what it does. Protection 3 is what I'm looking for. What is that protection? Physical protection. Uh, well, protection is by far better for me, in my opinion. So I think I'll do protection for all my stuff. Um, that includes this stuff and this. So we're going to go to that's Oh, wait, I didn't even grab it, did I? I'm breaking three. Physical protection, protecting protection. Uh, I'm breaking, I'm, bra I'm breaking two. There we go. I'm breaking again. I'm breaking again, and I'm breaking one. I'll leave that one to be as it is. So, here we are again. So, we're going to go with uh, this here. We're going to start with that. We're going to give it unbreaking two. And then we're going to go to my chest plate, and I'm going to put Unbreaking 3 on that one. And I'm also going to give it Protection 2. So there's that right there. And this one I'm going to give Unbreaking 2 as well. I don't have enough uh, stuff. Oh, well, well I'm going to see what this mystery egg does, and I'm going to do that like right here. So. I have a baby uh, creeper egg. It, 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 oh, a rocky creeper egg. Oh, that's cute. Hi, buddy. How about you come over here and you can be like the, the guardian here or something. And then I'll, I'll let you sit here. That's cool. If you guys have a name for my little rocky creeper, let me know down. In the uh, comments below, let me know what I should name my little rocket creeper. Oh, that's really cool. Very adorable, too. Uh, protection 2. So, I'm going to go and uh, actually going to grind some more levels, and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, so we are back now. As you can see, I did have to, uh, I did take some damage, but that's, that's fine. So, we are back going to get the unbreaking on the actual pants now and the unbreaking two okay so cool there we go uh i think that's the best i can do for them protection one i think i want to give it uh protection three though can i give them protection three i can all right cool so i can do that upgrade it to that and I think I have more protection here, right? I have magic protection, fire protection is going to be helpful, and magic protection is going to be helpful as well. So let's go with 
fire on this one and magic on that one. So magic protection on this one. And then fire protection on the pants. There you go. So I do have protection of, uh, for most of the stuff. So magic and fire, which is going to be really cool. Um, looking pretty cool though. Look at look, I really like the uh, the armor in this mod pack, the ice and fire mod pack. And these are all level 54, 55. Might not be working as much as I would like to, but I am close to level 55, so I'll probably be doing some level grinding. And I did find this really cool chest play. Where's it at? This one right here with the vitality. Um, I am gonna want to be very careful with this one though, because that one is actually gonna be breaking soon. And that's the last thing I want, so I'm going to watch out for that one. Uh, I do find another absorption there. Some more uh, protection, some more physical protection ones and stuff like that. Let's see, uh, physical protection. Can I add that to my armor currently that has... The, can I? Let me see. I cannot because it has the protection on it. So uh, if I have, let's say, fire or magic, can I do that as well? No. So I think for physical protection, I'll put that on the boots uh, whenever I do get it. Uh, but I think I would have to wait until I can actually get that. So I'll do that. Uh, mending is always helpful, so I'm going to put that over there. Unbreaking 1, always still helpful either ways. Uh, unbreaking 2 is also even better, actually. So can I put this together? No, I can't. But that would have been pretty cool. So, okay, there we go. Well, I'm gonna put that unbreak in there and then the unbreak in there too as well. And wow, I, I've done that. Oh, yeah, so I've also had this really cool subject uh, PE1 and then sharpness 2 is gonna be very helpful. Uh, and I do have the sword back at home at the other base that has even better enchantments for my sword right here which is going to be really helpful so guys uh, I think I'm going to leave the episode here I, it's been pretty good as you can see my armor is looking quite spiffy and I cannot wait to get the boots to get a full di uh, dragon suit armor so that's going to be even better I'm going to be even stronger with my shield as well as my swords it's going to be even better uh, but thank you guys for watching and as you can see can you enchant stuff with this stuff? Yes, and you can disenchant it as well. It's very helpful at the end of the day, and it is a little bit OP, but um, you still got to use experience to actually put the enchantments on your armor, so uh, it's a little balanced out, but the uh, disenchantment is a little bit OP besides you having to have a bunch of books. But guys, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next ones, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you already haven't. Hit the notification bell to let, so YouTube can let you know when I update. Thank you guys for watching. See you again next time. See ya.